Noodle Logo 6, the ancient literature tool, lets you study the Bible against its cultural and linguistic background by making connections between the Bible and ancient texts. Imagine you're studying a text like Isaiah 54.1. You've tracked down the biblical cross-references, consulted your commentaries, and investigated interesting words. Now you want to know how this text was understood in Jewish and early Christian traditions. Let's explore the ancient literature tool by going to Guides and selecting Passage Guide. Now input the biblical reference, Isaiah 54.1. When the guide generates, scroll down and expand the ancient literature section. Notice that Logos lists all types of connections between this Bible verse and ancient source material. I can view this same information in a different way by sorting the references by work instead of by type. Now all of my cross-references are listed by the work they appear in, which lets me see how powerful and extensive this search really is. Notice how Logos has searched ancient sources like the Talmud, the Dead Sea Scrolls, Philo, and the Church Fathers, and found all types of references to Isaiah 54.1. Now that we've covered the subsections and viewing options, I want to explore various levels of connections between Isaiah 54.1 and ancient writings. I'm going to start my investigation by looking at ancient Near Eastern sources found in the context of Scripture. Clicking the link 1.159 opens up an ancient Sumerian myth that discusses the archaic perception of women who could not bear children. We read in line 72 that the woman was fashioned but could not give birth, so she was assigned to hard labor. This portion of the text reflects some of the ancient thoughts regarding barren women. But the Bible tells us in Isaiah 54.1 that barren women will one day rejoice. In the Talmud, we see an interesting dialogue about the barren woman in Isaiah 54.1, where a certain man asks, Why should a barren woman rejoice? To which the woman replies, You idiot! Look at the end of the verse. For it says the children of the desolate shall be more than the children of the married woman. And then she goes on to connect the barren woman with the nation of Israel. Isaiah 54.1 is also referenced in the Dead Sea Scrolls, the Pseudepigrapha, and in some of the earliest Christian literature outside of the Bible, like 2 Clement 2.2-3. Here we read a phrase-by-phrase -phrase exposition of this verse, typically dated to the first half of the second century. Finally, we have an insightful reference to this text in the works of Philo specifically in On Rewards and Punishment. From 158 to 161, Philo provides a 2nd century Jewish perspective of this text, which counters the perspective we just read in 2nd Clement. While all this material is discoverable within my library, the new Ancient Literature section finds these references in seconds and allows me to see the ancient writings that influenced and interpreted the biblical text. To upgrade to a base package that includes the new Ancient Literature tool, click Get Logos Now.